SMPTE-421M, informally known as VC1, is a video coding format. It was initially developed as a proprietary video format based on WMV9 by Microsoft in 2003 and officially approved as a SMPTE video codec standard on April 3, 2006. It is today a supported standard found in Blu-ray discs, Microsoft's Silverlight framework, and the now discontinued HD DVD format. VC1 is an evolution of the conventional DCT-based video codec design also found in H261, MPEG-1 Part 2, H262 slash MPEG-2 Part 2, H263, and MPEG-4 Part 2. It is widely characterized as an alternative to the ITUT and MPEG video codec standard known as H264 slash MPEG-4 AVC. VC1 contains coding tools for interlaced video sequences as well as progressive encoding. The main goal of VC1 advanced profile development and standardization was to support the compression of interlaced content without first converting it to progressive, making it more attractive to broadcast and video industry professionals. Both HD DVD and Blu-ray Disc have adopted VC1 as a video standard meaning their video playback devices will be capable of decoding and playing video content compressed using VC1. Windows Vista partially supports HD DVD playback by including the VC1 decoder and some related components needed for playback of VC1 encoded HD DVD movies. Microsoft has designated VC1 as the XBOX360 video game console a Euro unregistered trademark S official video format and game developers may use VC1 for full motion video included with games. By means of an October 31, 2006 update, people can now play all formats of Windows Media Video on the XBOX360 from a disk, USB storage device, or streaming from their PC via Windows Media Connect Windows Media Player 11. This allows anyone to play VC1 encoded video on the console. VC1 is also supported in the PlayStation 3 console and the FFMPEG project includes a free VC1 decoder. On August 24, 2012, the Raspberry Pi Foundation announced hardware decoding support for VC1. Microsoft Codec Implementations The VC1 codec specification has so far been implemented by Microsoft in the form of three codecs, each identified with a unique four-character code equals WMV3 equals, simple and main profiles of VC1 remained completely faithful to the existing WMV3 implementation, making WMV3 bitstreams fully VC1 compliant. The WMV3 codec was designed to primarily support progressive encoding for computer displays. An interlaced encoding mode was implemented, but quickly became deprecated when Microsoft started implementing WMV advanced profile. Whereas WMV3 progressive encoding was implemented in the YUV420 color space, the deprecated interlaced mode was implemented in the less common YUV411 color space. The Windows Media Video 9 codec implements the simple and main modes of the VC1 codec standard, providing high-quality video for streaming and downloading. It provides support for a wide range of bit rates from high-definition content at one-half to one-third the bit rate of MPEG-2, to low-bit rate internet video delivered over a dial-up modem. This codec also supports professional quality downloadable video with two-pass and variable bit rate encoding. Windows Media Video 9 is already supported by a wide variety of players and devices. A number of high-definition movies and videos have been released commercially in a format dubbed WMVHD. These titles are encoded with WMV3 main profile at high level. Equals WMVA equals, WMVA was the original implementation of WMV advanced profile prior to the acceptance of the VC1 draft by SMPTE. The codec was distributed with Windows Media Player 10 and Windows Media Format SDK 9.5 install packages. There are slight bitstream differences between WMVA and WVC1. So consequently WMVA is handled by a different direct show decoder than WVC1. 
Some third-party hardware and software decoders only decode WMVA-based content. As of 2006, WMVA is considered a deprecated codec because it is not fully VC1 compliant. Equals WVC1 equals WVC1, also known as Windows Media Video 9 Advanced Profile, implements a more recent and fully compliant advanced profile of the VC1 codec standard. It offers support for interlaced content and is transport independent. With the previous version of the Windows Media Video 9 series codec, users could deliver progressive content at data rates as low as one-third that of the MPEG-2 codec and still get equivalent or comparable quality to MPEG-2. The Windows Media Video 9 Advanced Profile codec also offers this same improvement in encoding efficiency with interlaced contents. A decoder for WVC1 is included in Windows Media Player 11, which is bundled with Windows Vista and is available as a download for Windows XP. This implementation is supported in Microsoft Silverlight. Profiles. Bit rates and resolutions. Other implementations, due to its origins in Microsoft's WMV9 codec, the most popular implementations of VC1 encoders have so far been done by Microsoft though third-party implementations exist as well. Sonic Cynavision PSE, a professional VC1 encoding tool used predominantly in HD DVD and Blu-ray encoding, is a commercial version of Microsoft's PEP encoding tool and VC1 analyzer tool. Microsoft owns the code development whereas Sonic Solutions owns the sales and distribution. Microsoft also provides a separate VC1 encoder SDK which allows any company or software developer to integrate VC1 encoding into their applications. Non-Microsoft VC1 implementations have been done by Tandberg Television and Main Concept. The FFMPEG project includes a free VC1 decoder. Encoding software, Windows Media Encoder 9 series encodes VC1 compliant video files including WVC1 for CC Media, Windows Media Format 11 Runtime or Windows Media Player 11 must be installed on the computer to ensure full VC1 compliance across all three profiles. If either of these are installed, Windows Movie Maker can also save VC1 compliant videos, as can any other application built on the Windows Media Format SDK or Windows Media Codec DMOs. A Windows Media Encoder Studio Edition was initially announced for professional encoding but later cancelled by Microsoft. Microsoft Expression Encoder which is part of Expression Studio supports encoding VC1 video to the Windows Media File Format and the IIS Smooth Streaming Format. Video Encoder Products made by Inlet, Digital Rapids, Harmonic, Invivio, Elemental Technologies, and Nistream. Telestream and Rosé support VC1 encoding for IPTV and web streaming. Hardware-based encoding and decoding, because VC1 encoding and decoding requires significant computing power, software implementation that run on a general-purpose CPU are typically slow, especially when dealing with HD video content. To reduce CPU usage or to do real-time encoding, Special purpose hardware may be employed either for the complete encoding or decoding process, or for acceleration assistance within a CPU controlled environment. A hardware VC1 encoder can be an ASIC or an FPGA. Hardware accelerated video decoding can either be done on dedicated, special purpose hardware or on generic, multi purpose hardware such as GPUs. The former is typically found in consumer electronics devices such as Blu-ray disc players and 3G slash 4G mobile phones, while the latter is typically found in PCs. Nearly all video cards manufactured since 2006 support some level of GPU accelerated VC1 decoding on the Windows platform via DirectX Video Acceleration APIs. The native Windows WMV9 slash VC1 decoder only supports DXVA profiles A, B and C, while third-party VC1 decoders such as CyberLink support the full DXVA profile D decode acceleration. There is no support for GPU accelerated VC1 decode on the macOS platform. Raspberry Pi hardware supports VC1 hardware accelerated decoding, although it requires purchasing of the correspondent license key. 
legal status, although widely considered to be Microsoft Euro unregistered trademark as product, there are 18 member companies within the VC1 patent pool. As an SMPTE standard, VC1 is open to implementation by anyone, although implementers may be required to pay licensing fees to the MPEG LA, LLC licensing body or directly to its members, who claim to hold essential patents on the format. See also, Comparison of H264 and VC1, Video Compression, VC2. References, VC1 Technical Overview. Windows Media. Microsoft. 2006. Retrieved October 5, 2006. ABBC1. Summer of Code. Google. Archived from the original on September 13, 2007. Retrieved March 21, 2007. Raspberry Pi VC1 Hardware Decoding. Raspberry Pi Foundation 2012. Retrieved August 24, 2012. Sullivan, Gary J. December 2007. DirectX Video Acceleration Specification for Windows Media Video V8, V9 and VA Decoding. Microsoft Developer Network Library, Windows Development Kit, Windows Driver Kit, Device and Driver Technologies, Display Devices, Design Guide, Windows 2000 Display Driver Model Design Guide. Microsoft. Retrieved October 29, 2010. About the Windows Media Codex. Microsoft Developer Network. Microsoft. Retrieved April 28, 2014. Main Concept VC1 Codec Package. Main Concept. Retrieved September 24, 2010. FFMPEG Home News. FFMPEG. March 9, 2007. Retrieved October 29, 2010. Nine months without news but with heavy development. A few select highlights are decoders for VC1 WMV9, VMWARE, VP5, VP6 Video and WAV Pack, IMC, DCA Audio and a WMA encoder. New video features. MPEG2 and VC1 decode, H264 encode. CEC support. Raspberry Pi. Retrieved November 29, 2015. VC1 licenses. MPEGLA. Retrieved May 19, 2013. MPEGLA, LLC. Press release. Archived from the original on November 13, 2006. Retrieved August 17, 2006. External links. VC1 profiles and levels. VC1. Retrieved December 12, 2005. Microsoft WMV Codec Implementations. VC1. Retrieved February 28, 2006. VC1 Reference Software Analysis at the Multimedia Wiki, RFC 4425 a Euro RTP Payload Format for Video Codec 1, VC1 Decode License Announcement. VC1. Retrieved August 24, 2012. For the Raspberry Pi.